Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Roberto Sifuntes Parada and Gert Rectanik. This game was played in the Netherlands in 1988. Roberto Parada had white pieces and he started the d4. Gert Rectanik played knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, bishop to g5 door attack b6 knight to c3 bishop to b4 pinning the knight on c3 e4 threatening e5 h6 bishop takes knight of course if bishop goes to h4 then g5 and after bishop to g3 knight takes on e4 so we have bishop takes knight queen takes bishop Bishop to d3, Bishop to b7, and Parada castle the king's side. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, and Lichternik castle the king's side too. Wait a move. What would you do? Parada played knight to d2 in order to play f4 e5 f4 anyway e takes on f4 if e takes on d4 then e5 so we have e takes on f4 e5 queen to h4 black is a pawn up would you be rather white or black and why how would you continue now? Perhaps queen to e1 makes sense. Parada played knight to e4. d5. White move. What would you do now? Perhaps pawn takes pawn and passant comes to mind. Parada played g3. He is not afraid to push the pawn in front of his king. Hmm, interesting. Queen to h3. The knight is on the attack. How would you continue? Perhaps knight to f2 makes sense. What do you think? And after queen to d7, g takes on f4. This seems like a natural continuation. This is the position. Why to move? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Perhaps this is pretty good, but white played a surprise move. What is a surprise move in this position? Knight to f6 check. Interesting, isn't it? Pawn takes knight. If king goes to h8, then rook takes on f4. And if pawn takes knight now, bishop to f5, meaning the queen. So, in this position we have pawn takes knight, rook takes pawn on f4, black to move, we have f takes on e5, perhaps the strongest is bishop to c8, but white is still winning, rook to h4, queen to e6, rook takes pawn, on h6, threatening rook takes pawn on f6. Okay, in the game we have f takes on e5. Now it is way to move, and the move should be very easy to find. Is it easy? Way to move and to win something. 
Black Mini Strapped. Pawn takes rook, bishop takes queen. Pawn takes pawn on g3, queen to g4 check, king to h7. If king to h8 and queen to f4. So we have king to h7, queen to f5 check, king to g8, white. Play the move in black designed. The move is queen to f6. Lichtenic resigned. One line goes like this. Knight to c6, then bishop to f5. Perhaps rook from f to e8. Queen takes pawn on h6. And now a random move. a6. Then bishop to h7 check. King to h8. Bishop to g6 discover check. King to g8. Queen to h7 check, king to f8, queen takes pawn on f7, checkmate. So in this position, instead of a6, black would have tried knight to d8. Then still bishop to h7 check, king to h8, now rook to f1. Perhaps pawn takes pawn on h2 check, king to h1, and now random move again. Bishop to g6, discover check, king to g8, queen to h7 check, king to f8, rook takes pawn check, knight takes, queen takes knight, check, mate. And let's go back to the most critical position of the game in this position. Did you see the killer move? If you did, Congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and with your queen hunt. And bye for now.